I wake up cuddled next to Sayori in her room. Oh, well, shit. Whoa, I didn't really expect to sleep with Sayori. Not that we haven't done it before, but it feels a little weird having Yuri and Natsuki around to see. Where are, where are they? Where do they sleep? <laughs> where, where do they sleep? That's my question. <laughs> I gently ease out of bed, making sure Sayori doesn't wake up. Yuri is sleeping on a makeshift mattress made out of blankets, while Natsuki is not here? Where'd she go? Before I start looking for her, I catch a whiff of something amazing. They're cupcakes. <laughs> My mouth starts to water. I think I know where she is. <laughs> I walk downstairs to find Natsuki cooking eggs and bacon. It looks like just enough to feed all of us. Oh, good morning, Mikey. I don't think you've, you've ever tried my cooking before, have you? Besides the cupcakes, you mean? No, pretty much no. No, not at all. <laughs> Can't say I have. It looks and smells great, though. It's only a matter of time before suddenly Siori's door slams open. <laughs> Siori runs down the stairs so quickly, I'm surprised she doesn't fall over. What? Is that how you say it? What? <laughs> That's just how I say it. Natsuki, you're such a good cook. You haven't even tried it yet, dummy, but thanks. <laughs> well, I can't wait to eat. I guess I should go wake up Yuri. Never mind, she's right there. Before I walk upstairs, a sleepy Yuri already in front of me. Sayori, why do you have to yell it so early in the morning? Because it's Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Yuri. The sun is shining super bright today. Yuri giggles easily, understanding Sayori's metaphor. She always gets metaphors. <laughs> it's okay, Sayori. I'm glad you're feeling better today. I pat Sayori on the head and sit down next to her at the table. Breakfast is served. Now, don't get... Don't take too long eating. We don't want to be late. The four of us finish up eating, and I go home to get dressed. Ah, I almost forgot. What sort of gift should I take to Monica? Nothing. <laughs> Everyone is contributing in their own way except me. I have to think of something. Oh, I have to actually choose. Hmm. Fancy pen. I thought we were getting a gift from Monica, not Yuri. Sheet music. Bargate. <laughs> I think that's how you say I don't know how you say that, honestly. I know it's a... Like a flower thing, I guess. Bargate of flowers, whatever. Ribbon for a new bow. She's in a hospital. So, flowers? Oh, hey, there's an idea. I walk over to the counter and inspect the roses that are set nicely in a vase. I wonder why these haven't died yet. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. I mean, flowers are usually what you give to people stuck in the hospital, right? That was what I was going with. I'm sure Monica will appreciate these. I decided... <clears throat> I decided isn't really a good idea to take them to school and hold them all day. So I'll just pick them up on my way to the hospital. Uh, oh yeah. I know what, <laughs> I know what it can be like stuck in a hospital room. Sometimes it really makes a difference in someone's day to visit them while they're out sick. My gift isn't really the best thing in the world, but it's the thought that counts, right? Pretty sure if it's Monica, I don't know. Since she is on and off. <laughs> I quickly get dressed and meet all three girls outside. Oh man, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> None of us have seen Monica for months. We don't even know if she's the same person ever since the accident. I don't think she was the... Uh, she wasn't even the same person before the accident. <laughs> Other than the 
a few text messages here and there. I really don't know how much she changed. Oh, I can't wait to see Monica. I miss her so much. Heh, with how late she used to be sometimes, I never really noticed. <laughs> Nearly nudges Natsuki's arm. Don't be a little shit, Natsuki. <laughs> hey, don't say th say such things about your friend. She's been through a lot. I know, I know. Jeez, Yuri, I was only kidding. Well, you should quit being so childish in situations like these. Calm down, guys. I'm sure Monica wants to see us all getting along. The girl's not in agreement. An announcement on the PA comes on, exclaiming that visiting hours have begun. Ladies and gentlemen, the visiting hours have started now. You have in a matter of two hours or get the fuck out. <laughs> we stand up in a, in unison and walk towards the nurse filling out the visitor's passes. <clears throat> okay. The nurse said we'll find Monica on floor two, room 029. Okay. Before entering her room, we each pull out our gifts. Natsuki and Sayori are both carrying a cake that reads, Get well soon, we miss you. Yuri is carrying her tea set and has a small assortment of essential oils. And I guess I have my gift as well, which admittedly is pretty lame. <laughs> we knock on Monica's door ever so slightly so she doesn't hear us right away. Surprise, Monica! <laughs> Monica, sitting in her bed reading a book, is startled by our sudden arrival. Oh my god. What happened to your face? Your face wasn't... There wasn't nothing wrong with your face when we saw everything, was it? I don't remember. I thought she just had, like, a bunch of blood spots everywhere or something but I didn't think there was any on her face ah whatever I'm not gonna judge whatever whoa you guys scared me I look up and down <clears throat> look up and down at Monica's body dressed in a hospital gown a bandage on her left cheek she's been held up here for two months I don't think she I don't think I'd even be able to keep a smile on my face after so long Wow, all this for me? You guys are the sweetest. I totally forgot about my, what my Monica voice was because it's been a while since I was able to voice her in this mod. <laughs> I haven't seen you guys in forever. How have you been? I've been doing a great job at the club. That's what vice presidents do, right? Sayori's a great vice president. She really knew how to keep us entertained. Even I have to admit, we've had... Some pretty awesome moments these past few months. <clears throat> well, that's great to hear. I've been worried about the literature club, but I'm glad Sayori took care of it. Sayori and Natsuki walk over to a nearby table and set the cake down. Yuri follows and places her tea set next to it. Wow, all this looks ama amazing, guys. I love the cake. It's been way too long since I've had some of some of Yuri's tea. All the girls smile and blush, leaving me as the last one to present my gift. Well, I brought you a gift too, Monica. I pull out the gift from my school bag and hold it behind my back. <laughs> oh, hey, Mikey. It's nice to see you again as well. She gives me a warm smile, assuring me that everything is going to be okay. So a gift, huh? Is that why you're holding your hands behind your back? Yes. <laughs> I try my best to hide my smile, but I can't help myself. Ah, that's so sweet of you, Mikey. Alright, now close your eyes. <laughs> no need to look at it. It's pretty obvious. <laughs> Monica closes her eyes reluctantly. I take my hands from behind my back. Alright, now hold out your hands. Monica smiles as she puts her arms forward. Ooh, 
these flowers are so beautiful. Monica smiles and looks at the flowers closely. Well, I know flowers aren't that much of a big deal, but it's the least I could do. Hey, don't say that. I still like them. Hmm. Don't you think this would be something Natsuki would like? Eh. What makes you say that? Well, Natsuki is into things that are cute, right? Flowers are cute. So, she would probably love these. Well, if you say so. Monica's acting strange. Why does she say that out of nowhere? Now, hey. I still really appreciate the gift. It's very kind of you. <sighs> Made it seem like that was kind of a bad choice. I mean, come on. Monica seemed like the kind of girl who would have liked flowers if she wasn't psychotic! Monica walks up to me and pulls me in for a hug. I blush a bit, only to feel the blood leave my head when I see Sayori's face over Monica's shoulder. She's giving me a smile, but it's not... It's not a genuine smile. Oh, God. It's the same empty smile she gave me yesterday. I awkwardly let go of Monica. Oh, I'm sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable, Mikey. No, don't worry, Monica. It's fine. I walk over to Sayori and pull her aside, leaving Yuri and Natsuki to chat with Monica. Hey, Sayori. You feeling okay? I'm fine, Mikey. Just a small rain cloud. But today is Monica's day. Seeing her happy makes me happy. The rain clouds. It's always those damn rain clouds. Was it because I hugged Monica? Don't be silly, Mikey. <clears throat> Monica's just a friend and nothing more, right? Of course, and you remember what I told you, told you the other day, right? Yes, I trust you, Mikey. I know you know. I know you know what's best for me. Do I really? <laughs> you don't even know? Good job. I mean, she tells herself that, but does she really believe that? How about I make a suggestion? I take Sayori's hands into mine. How about tomorrow we have a day for ourselves, just the two of us. Maybe have another one of those sleepovers you like so much. Sayori lights up almost immediately. Oh, that sounds like fun a fun idea, Mikey. I can't wait. <laughs> I give Sayori a small kiss on her cheek. Now come on, Sayori, let's have some cake. Sayori and I walk over to Yuri, Natsuki, and Monica. I'll proceed to cut the cake, if that's no problem. Oh, okay, Yuri. Are you sure? Of course. I know how to slice a piece of cake. Natsuki looks away at the mention of Yuri's plan to cut cake. Ha. I left the knife back at home. That's my bad. <laughs> so how we cut it? <laughs> eh? How are we supposed to cut eat the cake then? Oh, wait. I forgot. Yuri's here. She's always carrying a knife, right? <laughs> Don't worry about that. I have just a thing. Yuri reaches into her school bag and takes out a fancy-looking knife. Yep. Forgot Yuri was here. <laughs> the day I walked in on Yuri cutting herself shoots back at me. Why is she still carrying one around? I mean, I know this sort of thing takes time, but I would have liked it if Yuri left it at home or something. I tried my best not to think about it too much. Yuri proceeds to cut the cake while Natsuki sets up some plates and napkins. Sayori looks out in excitement as the cake gets sliced. Uh, Sayori, you're drooling. <laughs> Sayori jumps back a bit. <clears throat> eh? I was drooling? Whoops. I guess I got too excited over the cake. <laughs> we stay with Monica for a good while before it was time to leave. Okay, everyone, before you go, I have a surprise for you as well. I'll be getting discharged over the weekend. I'll be returning to the literature club first thing next week. Hooray! I'm so glad you're coming back. I don't even know how to feel anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Finally coming back, huh? 
would be nice to have actual plans for once. <laughs> Hush, you little shit. I mean, Natsuki. <laughs> See where you did a great job. I'm glad you're returning to the club, Monica. Yeah, seriously. It's awesome to see you're feeling better. Thank you all. I could never ask for better club members and friends like you. Too bad you tried to kill them! <laughs> Especially trying to kill Sayori. Yeah, bitch. I know it's not much, but, I, but how about I write everyone a poem? I think it would be a great way to make up for my absence. We all nod in agreement. I'll be seeing you all in school then. Take care. The four of us walk out of the hospital discussing how great it felt to do this for Monica. I look forward to seeing her back in the club. Who knows what activity she has planned for the club. Only time will tell. <laughs>